as heard on the Adam Carolla Show. Uh, and then, uh, oh, and then he went to Buffalo. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. Mm. Now it's time to pay the fiddler, man. <laughs> yeah. How is that going from San Diego to Buffalo? And you know, I was scratching and screaming. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You know, I, I know Buffalo fans get pissed off at me for saying it, but, you know, when that happened, I, got, I, was, way, I was cut and waved by, by San Diego, and people don't know about wave, but the, worst, the teams with the worst record have an opportunity to get your contract and acquire you. Uh, well, Buddy, Buddy Nix, who was, uh, you know, in the front office in San Diego, who one, was one of the ones that really drafted me. He was the one that, that noticed, you know, me coming out of college and kind of brought me to the table to everyone else's attention. He was now the general manager in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. So after I got uh, released and, and waived in San Diego, uh, I was claimed by, I believe, four or five teams. I was claimed by, you know, a lot of teams. And uh, Buffalo had the worst record at the time. They were 0 6, 0 7. And my agent at the, at the time, uh, you know, he, he was saying, hey, Buffalo really wants you. You know, Buddy Nix called over at Buffalo. They want you out there. And I said, man, I'm not going to Buffalo. I, I, like, I, don't, I don't care. I'm not going. I feel there should be a law where you have to do, like, one season in Cincinnati or Houston just so you don't get the bends. Like, yeah. when you're coming from Seattle, San Francisco, now Los Angeles, right, yeah. or San Diego, you can't go right to Buffalo. No, Shock to the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah you need a year in Cincinnati mm-hmm. to kind of decompress yeah. a little bit, start getting used to some cold weather and then losing a little bit and stuff like that, and then you get to go to <laughs> Buffalo. But, but, you know, and weirdly enough, though, weirdly enough, I, I end up enjoying It was the weirdest thing, right? So I got out there. I, it, was, it, it was the first time, and I know someone on every team you know at least one person I knew if I got traded to or I got cut and I, go, I knew at least one person on every team Buffalo I didn't know anyone right so I came out there and I was like man I don't want to be here it's in Buffalo it's cold it's their own six own seven or whatever at, the time, whatever at the time and man I got out there and it was like man the organization was great and then it, the fans are unbelievable oh and, yeah and, I, and people don't know how great the fans are because they never they don't give a lot of TV love right but yeah, they're uh, again the thing. I mean, we were talking about this earlier with California, but you know, the San Diego fans. You know, they they're good fans, but you say fair fair weather, but they mean fair weather. Like the weather's always so good. <laughs> Literally, there's you can have a choice between watching the Chargers or going snorkeling, mm-hmm. but Buffalo, you got ice fishing or watch the Bills. That's about it. Yeah. I mean, you. You're forced into being the most motivated, dedicated, hard weather just fans in the world. And, and you know, you can play for any other team, right? Or be in any other city, and you'll see another jersey. You're bound to see a Patriots jersey, a Oakland jersey in San Diego. You're bound a Denver jersey. You're bound to see someone another jersey in Buffalo. You will never see another jersey walking around in that city anywhere. Well, you do see them pulled inside out while the person's being beaten like a hockey fight. Yeah, pull over, <laughs> the head, over the head, <laughs> inside out, while people are throwing punches, like yelling, hold my beer, and then they start punching But it's always the guy. a Bills jersey. It's always yeah. a Bills jersey. Yeah, you'll never... Uh, it is so true. I mean, that's the thing about... Like, Los Angeles has to be the only place in the world that has 10 Steeler bars in it outside of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And Cleveland bars and Patriots yes, bars there's bar and the Dow. There's bar. There's multiple bars for every team. A Buffalo. I can't imagine that there's a bar other than a Buffalo bar in they, they, Buffalo. They, uh, no, there's there's a, a, Bell, a Bills backer. Bill's Backers Bar in in Los Angeles. Sure. They, oh yeah, but not. There's no Rams. Other there's teams. no Rams oh, bar no, in no. Buffalo. They, 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 I mean, I can imagine it wouldn't get burned down. <laughs> yeah, oh, like, <laughs> that's right. You know, something would happen. Did yeah. you Did you feel more like a celebrity in Buffalo because there was so much more attention paid to the players? You know, I felt like everybody was like a third cousin. <laughs> You know, I, I, honestly, really, I, I, you walk, you go around the town and they shut down the entire town for games, right? And they got to a point where it was 150 or 200,000 plus people, you know, tailgating before the game. And it was, and you know, the, Couldn't the, fit in the, the stadium. stadium only fit 70,000. So they had to cut back the people from tailgating because that's what they did on Sundays. Wow. Well, see, that is, that's I mean, fun. there's that thing. It's that kind of thing we talk about. Like, do you want the hot blonde who doesn't put out, or do you want the fat chick who blows it's you? Overcompensating. <laughs> In the middle of the night while you're sleeping. <laughs> that's what Buffalo is. That's what I love about Buffalo. The Adam Carolla Show is brand new five days a week. Subscribe on iTunes or listen at Podcast One, the Podcast One app, or adamcarolla.com.